Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video we will see reverse polarity protection. So what is a reverse polarity protection? We got this battery operated device and the projects that we built which re requires a positive, positive and negative terminal. So in some projects we will use solid state devices and what will happen if we swap this negative and positive to uh, positive and negative so it's going to destroy some of the solid state devices that is built in the circuitry so in order to avoid that this is a simple circuit that I'm going to show you guys initially I will show you in whiteboard and then as usual we'll switch it back to uh, building the projects and see uh, how we go like we will try to power up a LED and we will try to swap we will try to swap the positive and negative terminal of the LED and see still see whether uh, the LED is glowing so which which will uh, help you to understand what is the purpose of the reverse polarity protection so no matter which way you connect the positive and negative terminal to a circuitry the circuit will be like absolutely safe and it will take the the positive and negative lines will take the appropriate path path to the devices let's see i will show you the block diagram initially and i will try to explain it and then we will switch to practical so it's a simple very simple circuit that contains only four diodes so the block diagram goes something like this so this is our power supply so our power supply will have a positive and a negative terminal as usual as you guys know and say for example this is my DC device say for example this is my DC DC equipment or circuit so what will happen is that what we are going to do is that we are going to add a diode IN 4001 so it goes to the positive terminal of the device or your circuit and we will add one more diode in reverse direction so that the negative can negative terminal can be connected to the negative terminal and this will be in reverse direction so it allows the negative supply only and not the positive and then we can add a reverse diode say for example we can add one more diode here marking here so it goes something like this so it goes and gets connected here and we will add one more diode here attached to it and then this gets connected to the other terminal so this is very simple but effective circuitry to protect your circuits so how this works it's very easy and very straightforward to understand say for example if you are connected in a right way the power supply the positive terminal will go and this is 4007 this is all the diodes are like in uh, 4007 all these four diodes are like in 4007 so we utilize n 4007 for quantities so what happens in a, in a proper way if you are connected the terminals in a proper way like positive to positive and negative to negative what happens the, the 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 voltage will flow through this diode and this diode d1 say for example d1 let this be d2 and this be d3 and this be d4 so this d1 will be forward by us and then it will get supplied it will pass supply to the positive terminal and this one this negative terminal will supply because the diode is in reverse dire direction and gets supplied here what happens if in case if in case by mistake we all make mistake mistake isn't it what happens if in case if you connect the negative terminal and then positive terminal by accident 
what will happen if you connect the negative and positive by mistake so if you do it that way this way what happens is that <coughs> the negative will not be uh, going through the circuit right the negative will not be going through the circuit instead the negative the negative will take this path of d4 so the negative will flow through will come through here it can't it can't jump in here because this is in reverse direction for the negative circuitry for the negative circuitry <coughs> so the the voltage the negative voltage will take this path and it finds a diode here which is appropriate appropriate for it and then it passes here and then goes to the negative terminal and for this if in case if it is connected to positive the pass the positive can't go in here and it can't go into this negative terminal so the positive will try to find a path so it will find a path by choosing this and then going all the way to d3 and then jump in here and then go to positive terminal in this way either you give positive or negative gentlemen you give positive or negative or negative or positive it's going to reach to the equipment side in an appropriate manner so this is all about a circuitry like this is a simple circuit that i can show you and uh, uh, i can show you a schematic as well in the middle of the slide in the middle of the video i can put your schematic as well my diagram is not that great but still for explanation purpose i choose this whiteboard so we have seen this uh, we have seen this now we will try to connect an led and try to swap the positive and negative terminal with this protection circuit and we will see whether the led glows for positive and negative terminal and swapped positive and negative terminal as well so we will switch to our breadboard and it's breadboard time now now we got our breadboard board and now try, we will try to uh, give supply to this LED and we will try to swap the positive and negative terminals of this LED and see whether it's 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 uh, whether it's working even with the reverse voltage we will see whether the reverse voltage protection is enabled for this LED it's just a simple explanation to show you guys the LED is working in this way you can connect with this protection circuit you can still connect your your equipments and other devices as well just for explanation purpose i have taken this led so we'll start doing and this is your in 4007 diode i don't know you can you guys can see or not so i think you can't see it so this is a general purpose common diode anyway everyone knows about it for this this tutorial is just for beginners and school students and not for experts experts please pardon me i'm just doing little little videos for the beginners so this is one d1 and we will put a uh, d2 in reverse direction so this is usually this will be positive and negative and we can try swapping this to negative and positive so So this is D1 and this is D2 and then we will connect our D3 and finally we will connect our D4 D4 we will use a wire D4 can't cross, it's gonna short. Oh, 
okay i've been careful not to short this terminal so it's like a bit messy but it can be like you can do it much better than me and so this will be your battery side and this will be your load side for load side purpose we will we will take this led and we'll see how it goes so it doesn't matter which side you're gonna give for the leds like it's gonna work anyway so i'll just give and we saw in ohm's law we need a resistance for lighting up an led to save it from direct load and then we will turn the negative side i don't know guys you can guys can see so you can, guys can see okay it's like a bit messier but still you guys you guys can do it much better than me i believe so we have hooked it that's it our circuitry is done it's so simple see it's just four diodes and you're saving a saving a big circuitry of yours if this is for minimal load again if you're going for higher loads we have a we can we can use this we can alter this with the help of a relay so for demonstration purpose i have connected my positive and negative leads and now we will try uh, to see the power supply <coughs> whether this voltage is working or not i mean i'm sorry not the voltage whether this circuit is working or not sorry about that so so this is my positive terminal i'm connecting it to the positive There you go, and black negative to the negative terminal. You can see the LED is working. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to swap this black negative terminal to the positive to the to the uh, to the positive terminal, and this red to the black terminal. Let's see the LED still works or not. So reverse polarity is something like even if you reverse, even if you reverse C for black, uh, for black terminal, I'm going to give this red wire. And for red terminal, I'm going to give this black wire. So the LED is still going to work because, oh, because it's going to choose its path. Like it doesn't matter which way you give, the LED is still going to work because the diode D3 and D4 comes into play. It gives you the supply alternatively in this way you can save the circuit if there is a solid state device if there is like transistors if there is like uh, if there is like anything in the circuitry which is like polarity sensitive you can use this simple four diode circuitry to um, save your circuit so this is a short little video and it's a very simple video this is just for beginners and not for experts experts must be knowing heaps about this and more more than this so it's just for school school children and for beginners and for hobbyists who are coming into the field of electronics i'm just showing some basics videos i'll be going in advance but step by step not now so thanks for watching gentlemen and hope you like this video if you guys like it please like my video and subscribe for future videos you can click on the bell icon at the bottom of the video thank you very much